Do not worship angels. The Bible is incredibly clear with warnings about not worshiping angels, to worship God and God alone. Revelation 22, 8 through 9. I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who showed them to me. And he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers the prophets. And, those, and with those who keep the words of this book, worship God. So the angel is saying to John and us as born-again believers, Do not worship me. I'm a servant. I'm here to serve the Lord, just like you. As a matter of fact, the angels, the Bible says in Hebrews 1.14, are ministering spirits sent out to serve for the sake of those who are to inherit salvation. They're here to serve us while we're here on earth. So they're servants of the Lord. We are not to worship them, not to pray to them, not to bow down to statues of them. Do not worship angels, Colossians 2, 18 through 19. Another big warning. Let no one disqualify you, insisting on asceticism and worship of angels, going on in detail about visions, puffed up without reason by his sensuous mind, and not holding fast to the head. What is the head? Ephesians 5 refers to Christ as the head of the church. The Bible says in the Christian family, the wife is to submit to her husband as unto the Lord in all things. The man submits to Christ. Christ is the head of man. Man is the head of woman. Why should we not worship angels? They are servants of God. They're not God. Hebrews chapter 1 makes big distinctions between the Lord Jesus Christ and the angels. Do not follow superstitions. Let's read this while we're here. Related topic. Deuteronomy 13, 1 through 3. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder that he tells you comes to pass, and if he says, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. So, do not, do not, do not follow signs and wonders and chase superstitions and worship angels. The Bible warns very strongly against it. Do not pray to angels. 1 Timothy 2.5 For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. He's the author and finisher of our faith. Do not worship graven images. Do not bow down to them. Exodus 20, Ten Commandments. We all know it well. Do not pray to dead people. They're not here. 2 Corinthians 5.8 If they know Christ, they are born again. 2 Corinthians 5.8 says, Absent from the body, present with the Lord. Do not worship, pray to, or bow down to statues of angels. Worship God and God alone. The Lord Jesus Christ, King of kings and Lord of lords, Holy of holies, the righteous judge, a consuming fire, all power in heaven and earth has been given to him. Praise the Lord and worship him only.